Former President Donald Trump is furious with Rupert Murdoch for admitting in a sworn deposition that some of his hosts over at Fox News were promoting the big lie. And that big lie, of course, was that the election was allegedly stolen from Donald Trump due to widespread voter fraud. Now, of course, the chairman of Fox Corp had to admit that because again, it is a sworn deposition in the context of this lawsuit that was filed against Fox News and other right wing media outlets by Dominion Voting Systems. This is a defamation, defamation lawsuit that we're learning a lot from. Trump didn't like the admission. And so he took to Truth Social to share his truth. And this is what he had to say. Why is Rupert Murdoch throwing his anchors under the table, which also happens to be killing his case and infuriating his viewers, who will again be leaving in droves? They already are. They are mad. There is massive evidence of voter fraud. No, there isn't. Any irregularities in the 2020 presidential election? Just look at the documentary 2000 Mules. This is where I stop reading because it's unhinged and ridiculous. Um, now, I have more from Trump. Let me read one more statement and then we'll go to you, Jank. He says, there was so much voter fraud and irregularities in the 2020 presidential election that it amazes me how weak and ineffective Fox News is at portraying itself in the lawsuit against them. Because there is no voter fraud, as you learned through the 60 cases you brought forward to federal judges who gave you the middle finger and said, dude, you have no evidence. Why are you wasting our time? Please go away. And some of those judges you appointed, like, He's gonna run, he's running for 2024. And honestly, it looks like he's gonna win. Like if the election were to be held today, he would win. And I'm not just talking about in the Republican primary. I think he'd win against Biden too. Just shut up and like move forward, but he can't do it. He can't help it. He, lo he loves crying too much. My God. So, but ironically, MAGA, I'm gonna help you in a second, okay? Uh, but first, I'd like to note that it's uh, throwing them under the bus, not under the table. Under the table's a different thing. It is a different thing <laughs> okay. that I'm sure he's very familiar with. <laughs> okay, right. right. Mm -hmm. So, and by the way, a lot of Fox News hosts are under the table for Rupert Murdoch. Uh, so, but uh, to be fair to Sean Hannity, you get paid forty million dollars a year, and there's a lot of room under that table. Okay, so let's just keep it real on what's happening in there. And that's and Sean Hannity said about Trump that he was really scared, like he didn't believe what Rudy Giuliani. And Sidney Powell were saying, but he was so scared of losing his audience. Because of course, Sean Hannity's a coward. Okay, so, but here's the me being generous. So, MAGA, I've got a great idea for you guys. It's really simple. Fox News is being sued by Dominion in this case, and it's for defamation. It turns out truth is a defense of defamation. That's right. So you guys have all the evidence about how the election was stolen in 2020. 2,000 mules, 8,000 donkeys, whatever you got, okay? <gasps> give it give it to Fox News and demand, demand that Fox News win the case based on truth, okay? Fox should show and prove that the election was stolen. That's why they weren't lying on air. And it's an easy win, they win what? They say $1.6 billion, you guys finally get to show all your evidence. So if Fox News doesn't do it, they're really betraying you. Seriously, mm. do you believe it or don't you believe it? You say you have the evidence. Why wouldn't Fox News present it to win the case? You know, a fascinating survey of Fox News, of the Fox News audience would be to ask them how they feel about the fact that the hosts were saying one thing publicly on their broadcasts, but behind the scenes, thought and believed something completely different. And so literally and intentionally lied to the audience. Are they upset about that at all? Or would they have preferred for the Fox News host to continue regurgitating what their daddy Trump wanted them to say? I'm really, I'm, not, I'm genuinely curious about that. Yeah, look, I, I don't know what pretty little lies that uh, the right wing audience tells themselves to believe this stuff. I don't know if they actually believe that Trump won. Two thirds of them say in every poll, no, Trump definitely won and Biden definitely lost, right? And it was and it was stolen by Dominion and who ghosts and ghouls and goblins, right? 
But do they really believe that? I'm not sure they do. I think that like they're just in their own tribe and they're like I don't know. I think they I think they do. I mean, be, and the reason why I say that, look, obviously neither one of us have evidence, right? But I'm just thinking about what happens to your brain when you're in that filter bubble. Mm -hmm. And when you're in that filter bubble, anything that that's contrary to what you're hearing in that bubble seems insane to you. Yeah. So guys though, the the MAGA guys that are in that bubble, that's and by the way, it's not like a tiny percentage like Joe Biden says. It's at least two thirds of Republicans. So guys, you gen, if you genuinely believe it and you're not full of crap and you're not doing it for political reasons, seriously, why don't you ask Fox News to show the evidence in court? That way you could be vindicated, Trump could be vindicated and then they win the case. What's the downside? Mm -hmm. Now the reality is, I'm telling you guys now, Fox is never gonna do that because there is no evidence that the election was stolen. It's in your imagination. They already went to court 60 times presented literally zero evidence. Okay, but you believe whatever you like, but then you should be livid at Fox News for not delivering the evidence in court that the election was stolen because they they win the case on that alone. Yeah, Easy. this is the chance. This is their chance, right? This 100%. Is their chance. This is a giant chance for the right wing. Now, we're also learning other interesting details about Fox News and what they were doing behind the scenes during the 2020 election. And it's all because of this Dominion lawsuit. The latest thing we've learned is that Rupert Murdoch leaked to Jared Kushner some relevant information about the 2020 election. During Trump's campaign, Rupert Murdoch provided Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, with Fox confidential information about Biden's political ads, along with debate strategy, the filing declared. The filing didn't elaborate on how Murdoch assisted with debate strategy. Now, um, I, I can't help but think of Donna Brazil over at CNN getting into a lot of trouble for giving Hillary Clinton the debate questions ahead of time, something she certainly should not have done. But Let's see how this plays out for Rupert Murdoch versus how it played out for Donna Brazil. I would venture to say the outcome is very different. The consequences are very different. By the way, we broke that Donna Brazil story at TYT. And so, and in the beginning, CNN was like, outrageous progressive organization saying we would cheat on behalf of Hillary Clinton. Later, they were like, yeah, we totally did. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, but notice here's an interesting part, right? So, CNN cheats on behalf of Hillary Clinton. Uh, they say they were outraged to find out that Donna Brazil, who was a Democratic strategist, had leaked the question to her. Who could have guessed, right? And uh, and Fox News leaks stuff to the Trump team, but no one leaks anything to progressives. See, I told you it's all good cop, bad cop. Corporate Democrats, corporate Republicans are on the same team, and so is Fox News and MSNBC. They're corporate media and CNN, all of them. They're corporate media. The one group they're never ever going to help is progressives. Because we're the only ones that challenge corporate power. The rest of it is just theater. Now, one other thing that we're learning about through this lawsuit is how Sean Hannity really feels about Donald Trump. According to the filing, former Republican Speaker Paul Ryan from Wisconsin, of course, who sits on the board of Fox Corp, wrote to Murdoch after the January 6, 2020 one attack on the Capitol by Trump supporters and said he believed that some high percentage of Americans thought the election had been rigged against Trump because they got a diet of information telling them the election was stolen from what they believe were credible sources. Thanks, Paul, Murdoch wrote back according to the filing. Wake, wake up call for Hannity who has been privately disgusted by Trump for weeks, but was scared to lose viewers. <laughs> Again, MAGA, I gotta ask you guys. So, I mean, that's an open court. You could read it for yourself. That's the big daddy, Rupert Murdoch, who owns Fox News, mm -hmm. okay? He's saying he talked to Sean Hannity, and Sean Hannity is disgusted by Donald Trump, disgusted by him. But on air, he'll go and tell you how great Donald Trump is. You've seen him say it a thousand times, right? And why? His boss says, oh, it's because he's scared of you guys. I guess he's disgusted by you too. But he's scared of losing you guys because he makes 40 million bucks a year. Hundred, exactly, exactly. It's all about the money. They'll pander to you and tell you whatever you want to hear. They'll lie to you, whatever it takes, just to make sure they're earning that money, earning that money off of spreading the lies. Okay, now finally, let's end on a, a fun note. How uh, how does um, 
Rupert Murdoch and his lackeys over at Fox News actually feel about Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, okay? love it. So the Dominion case filings, uh, through those filings, we know that Murdoch and his Fox lackeys didn't really like Giuliani much. Murdoch told a friend, General Jack Keane, a Fox News security analyst, that he thought some of the claims about the election could be true, but that Trump, quote, needs better lawyers than Rudy, who is past his prime. That's the mildest thing he said, yep. okay? After Giuliani and Powell held a press conference on November 19th, Murdoch told Fox News CEO Suzanne Scott, terrible stuff damaging everybody, I fear. Probably hurting us too, Scott agreed, according to the court documents, and added, yes, Sean and even Piero agrees in a possible reference to, Fo not a possible reference, in a definite reference to Fox host Sean Hannity and Janine Piero. And then finally, on November 11th, 2020, Fox News host Sean Hannity said, quote, Rudy is acting like an insane person, according to the court documents. On December 22nd, he also said effing lunatics in reference to Giuliani. On January 12th, Fox News host Laura Ingram said, Rudy is such an idiot, the documents said. Guys, isn't it interesting? Those are almost word for word what I said about Rudy Giuliani. And apparently that's exactly what the Fox News hosts think when they're off air. Mm -hmm. But when they're on air, they have to present a play for you guys. They're actors. And that's why I've been calling the, uh, all of these cable news guys, not just Fox News, news actors instead of news anchors. Yep. So the news actors come out and they have to perform a play. And they secretly, they're disgusted by Trump and you guys. They know they're lying to you. They'll put, bring Rudy on. They'll be like, Rudy, what do you think, guys? Was the election stolen? How badly was it stolen? That's amazing, Rudy. What else you got? And they go off and they're like, effing lunatics. Anyway, make up, make up. I gotta go to my trailer. So hey, if that's what you like, right wingers, you're gonna get a lot of news actors on Fox News telling you pretty little lies that you wanna hear. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.